Hello everybody, this is JD. I am doing <coughs> a repeat video and this one's going to be on medical. Okay, now let's see. We don't need medical insurance. No, that's just another level of bureaucracy to add to the government. And what you do when you add a level of bureaucracy is you add millions of dollars of cost to something you don't really need. So, if we don't need that, what do we need? Well, we do need medical for everybody. We kind of have it in the United States now, but it needs to be fine-tuned. It needs to be expanded, and everybody needs to be know it's there. If you're sick, anything wrong with you, you can actually go to the emergency room of any hospital, and they have to service you. It's the law. Well, <clears throat> that overburdens the emergency room. And, I mean, we could end up with everybody going to the emergency room, end up like uh, maybe some countries where you have hours wait, so you have to call up for an appointment. No, we don't need that. We need to look at what didn't work around the world and what does work. Didn't work is everything they got. None of them have a decent program. So we throw all of them out. We throw the Canadian out, we throw the European out, we throw them all. So then what will work? Simple. <laughs> <clears throat> Utilize what we have to its maximum. Expand on its capabilities of what we have. Oh, well, what do we have? Well, well we got great hospitals in this country. <laughs> That's it. You see, we have great hospitals all across the country. They have a lot of stuff to offer. Well, start requiring them to have open clinics. They will have a clinic attached to the hospital. Yeah, they might have to build a wing. They may even have the capabilities that some may be doing it right now. But they have a clinic, not an emergency room, a clinic completely separate. And it runs on separate hours, let's say from like 8 in the morning to 8 at night. Now, how does this clinic work? Well, basically, if you have insurance, you walk into the clinic, you give them your card. They take the information. There will be no charge because you have insurance. You're going to pay for the services you receive. If you have Medicaid or Medicare, you walk in with the card, and well, there's no charge there. Now, let's say you're a person with nothing. Average, minimum worker who could barely make ends meet, and you walk in there with your child. There's a $5 user fee. But you don't have the $5 because, I mean... You have a child and you're making them in a way. Well, then they're going to write down a bill and when you can send us. And you, I mean, if you send us five cents a week, five cents a month, you're still paying. It don't matter. If you send nothing, it really don't matter. It's more of uh, to keep the people from taking advantage of it. It's just a user's fee. Now, what? how will they set this clinic up? Every clinic will be doctored mostly by interns. These people who go to medical school, they come out, they have no real idea how patients feel. They get to develop their patient-doctor relationship there. The first year, they go straight to the clinic, and that's where they're going to work. They're going to be busy every day because people will be coming in. They're going to see broken arms, broken noses, broken faces. They're going to see people who, who uh, things that uh, won't go to the emergency room. I mean, you've got a gunshot room, you go to a gunshot wound, you can go to the clinic or you can go to the emergency room. <laughs> that would be your Hey, you have a choice. <clears throat> <clears throat> but they'll see people who have pains, heart conditions. They'll see all kinds of things that they learned about. <clears throat> and they'll see them and they'll get experience with them. Also, what else will they get? Well, they, um, they have a doctor, could be a general practitioner, he stays there, but he'll go on into the hospital. But what will you get? Well, let's say you do have a son and you, you I mean you don't have the money and he's out there playing and he falls off a tree you know kids tend to climb up trees and his arm is kind of weird looking well you go to that open clinic you come in you don't have no money they, they say okay they say, put your room doctor comes in looks at says whoa you got a broken arm there young man I'm positive that's arm broken we got to get an x-ray. So he writes some paper and tells you to go to radiology. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You had a clinic that has radiology. Okay, so you go to radiology and they take an x-ray of your young man's arm and it is broken. So then they um, take that and send you over. They set it in another place and they put a cast on it and you leave completely done. Yes, the clinic attached to the hospital has all the facilities of a hospital. Somebody comes in with a disease or something that needs to be treated, they got it. 
our government could issue the shots for school and children out of these clinics in the hospital. Whoa, they're already set up. Wow, we could just say, you know, the city could say, okay, go to these hospitals for your shots for school, these hospitals for these shots. If your kids are in fifth grade or if you have a daughter, let's say, this age old who needs this shot, go to these hospitals. Whoa, we can actually control and regulate how our shots, and people will know where to go. Another thing, since most places have several different hospitals, everybody will have a choice to what hospital they want to go to. And since hospitals communicate with everybody, let's say you were, you go to uh, one hospital, let's say you go to uh, St. Jude's, uh, well, uh, let's say uh, a Norfolk hospital, Centera in Norfolk, but you work in Virginia Beach and you're injured and you're hurt and you fall down and they take you to the emergency room they put your name in whoa this person goes to the hospitals and look this is blood type this is this this is this. they got all your records so the doctor says whoa I could take care of you right now this is what's wrong with you good let's go and he has all that information available on you also what well how about a, how information for disease control Hospitals, if we had them at free clinics when people are sick and their stomach's bothering them, oh, they'll go straight to the hospital instead of their doctor, you know? And the only difference between people with no insurance in their treatment and the people who have insurance is that people who have, have insurance may have a family doctor that they go to. People who have no insurance, they have the hospital to go to. And they say, oh, yeah, but no, wait a minute. Let me explain something about this. I go to my family doctor. When anything's wrong with me, I have to wait for the insurance to approve for me to go get some shots right now. I got something in my joints and they say I got to get shots. So I'm taking pain pills and I'm still putting up with the pain until it gets approved. So I got to sit and wait with my insurance until they approve, which it took almost a month. I got to go next Friday to get some kind of cortisone shots in my shoulders. Hey, I'm 60 years old. Okay, it's it's devised from something that happened when I was 16. So I had to wait a month. But you realize that you people who don't have insurance, you go to the hospital, you got the pain, they check it out, they can do the x-ray right there, they can do the MRI right there, and boom, bang, boom, they can schedule you right away and you go in the next week and get the shot. I sat a month, month and a half in pain, you sit maybe a week because they got everything right there. So actually, for you people who don't have insurance, it's probably going to be a lot better treatment than for us who are paying for insurance. See, so think about that. Medical for everybody, not insurance. That's what I'm standing for. I want everybody in this country, no matter who you are, alien, immigrant, tourist down from anywhere, or anybody can go to an open clinic in any hospital, and they will be treated. Thank you. This is J.D.